Redflow Energy Storage. Hello and welcome to the third module in the Redflow Installer Training Program. In this module, we'll be covering the installation of the ZBM2 battery. This includes unpacking and handling the battery, as well as connecting it to power and comms. In the fourth module in the series, we'll be covering how to commission the battery. This module follows on from the two prior ones, being an introduction to the Redflow and the ZBM2, and ZBM2 safety and handling. So if you haven't completed those two modules yet, it's highly recommended that you do before attempting this module, as they contain important information on the battery and how to handle it safely. And on that note, before undertaking the installation of a ZBM2, you should have completed a site evaluation and a risk assessment to ensure that the installation goes smoothly once you're on site. And as always, when working with any battery, safety always comes first. Redflow Energy Storage.
that completes an overview of installing the battery and connecting it to power and communications networks. As you can see, the process is relatively straightforward. Redflow will be producing a range of training videos in the future to assist with more complex installations and troubleshooting assistance can always be had by contacting us at support at redflow.com. You may also find answers to any questions that you have at our online support portal, which can be accessed at redflow.zendesk.com. The next module in this series covers commissioning of the ZBM2, including the basic process for connecting it to a Victron inverter and also connecting it to a rectifier in the case of DC systems. I look forward to seeing you in that module. Before we wind up this one though, let's summarise some of the most important principles to keep in mind when installing a ZBM2 and complete a short quiz on the installation process. When installing a Redflow ZBM2, it's important to remember several things. One, that appropriate safety protection must be worn at all times when handling the battery. Two, the ZBM2 must always be handled, stored and transported in the upright position. Three, transportation and lifting devices should be appropriately rated for the weight of the battery. And four, the ZBM2 must never be handled via the stack.